Hey guys, Rum here, giving you a quick tutorial for new players on Armor Core 5 and Verdict Day, showing you a few things that the game doesn't really good, do a good job of showing you that will really improve your experience in this generation. So first up, the game does a pretty good job of teaching how to high boost, which is basically like a 5th gen's version of quick boosting, so your quick dodge, moving around, but what they don't show you is that you could do a glide boost, which you'll see right here. This is glide boosting right here. And so it's this quick fluid movement that you could have precise control of, and you won't lose your altitude. So you have to start it while standing on a surface, and then you could press L3 by default to start this glide boost while your booster's on here, and you could fly around like this. And so to show that you won't lose elevation if I hop up over here and I start a glide boost right here I'm not going to lose elevation I'm not going to fall down so you can maintain your altitude if you get a high foothold and engage and move around and dodge quickly as you see I'm doing here now in addition to this you can actually combine the two and high boost wall glide boosting so I'm going to start glide boost here and now look, I'm high boosting while I'm glide boosting, and I can move super fast while doing this. So the next thing I want to show you is a, a fifth gen's version of quick turning, right? So it only works if your feet touch the ground. So basically you carry momentum into the ground and you turn your booster off while turning. And you'll do this quick turn that you see here. And the amount that you turn will increase the faster you're going. So if I combine that with a glide boost here, turn my booster off, do a much bigger turn here, right? So if I glide boost and I add high boosting, I can go turn even more, as you see there. So I'll do that one more time. Glide boost, high boost, and I turn the booster off, and there you go, full 360. So now we have high boosting, or also known as kicking in this game, which is just great melee that all leg types have in this game and it does more damage the heavier generally your legs are so like tanks and, and heavy bipedals are going to do the most damage so the way you do it you either hold down the high boost button or you double tap it and it'll do a kick or a, a, a boost charge so I'm going to do that right here and as you can see I kicked off his shield there so it does a good amount of damage but the uh, lighter leg type you have generally the harder it is to land a kick so in addition to being a good melee, you could also use a kick as movement. So I could use a kick while looking down to do a stomp and get down very quickly, as you see here. As opposed to just turning off my booster and kind of falling until a little bit quicker. But in addition to that, you could also use it to stop falling. So if I turn my boosters off, turn them back on, and then kick while looking up or straight ahead, I'll actually stop falling. So I'm going to do that right here. Look, my boosters are off. I'm kicking. My boosters are on. I'm no longer falling, as you can see here. So in regards to guns that have lock-on, they have actually two types of lock-on. They have a blue lock and a red lock. The blue lock will actually just aim your weapon directly at the enemy and not compensate for movement. So if you have high muzzle velocity or if your target's not moving quickly, you can sometimes still get a hit. But a red lock, which will take longer to achieve depending on the weapon type, will compensate for the enemy's movement. So if you look here... I look real quickly over with my sniper rifle and I can hit this guy directly without waiting for a red lock, as you see there. But if he was moving, I probably wouldn't hit him, so I have to wait however long this is. See, now I have a red lock, so now I'm compensating for however reason. Of course, this guy's not moving, so I can't show that, but uh, uh, that's just something to take in, uh, into consideration. So now jumping, whatever button you have it attached to, mine's actually on L3 because I can just hold it down. So if you hold it down, you'll automatically jump off of whatever you come across. So I can just boost over here and I'm jumping automatically. And I'm just flying around, I'm just holding the button down. I'm not actually pressing it every time I touch it. So it can be a, an easy way to kind of chain jump and move your way around very efficiently. Because jumping takes much less energy than an actual high boost. So tanks in this game behave very differently from other leg types, as in, one, they don't have legs, so you can't actually jump off walls, but also quick turn works differently, so they have tank turning, right? So you have to completely be still 
and not in the air and you could perform a turn tank turn like this like a turn very quickly side to side so it's kind of like their own version of quick turning but in addition you can't jump off walls but you can climb slope surfaces both while jumping and pushing against it as you see here or boosting directly into it like here you can see I can get pretty high up on this mountain here without actually having to wall jump so you just kind of kind of get creative and get a feel for it and so like area. here's a good example Turn I could jump while pushing against a slightly slanted wall and it pushes me up very high area. I almost went out of Turn bounds there and alternatively I could also do that by boosting directly into it area. like that Turn and I'll, I'll follow up the angle there but you tanks also, unlike every other leg type, they can use ready mode weapons, which is what I have here. These are two howitzers. And I don't have to you sit on the, the ground area. to activate those and aim down sight. I can just free shoot them after any you other weapon. The As you can see here, Turn I'm using howitzers. You can do sniper cannons or any other cannon type weapon. And it's quite fun. So tanks have their own quirks, and they can be very powerful. They're just very different from two other leg types. So there's a couple key stats that you can look for on various different parts in this game that they don't really give you a good explanation of what they do. So on your heads, you'll have a camera performance number here. As you can see, this head type has 638 camera performance. So your camera performance, depending on what the number is, it can increase or decrease your range that you could lock on in addition to what FCS you're using. So if you have like a, a head with a very high camera performance, you could actually boost your range far beyond what your actual FCS is. And now the equation for that is actually your camera performance number, so this would be 635, plus 500, so that'd be like 1135, divided by 1000, and then times your camera performance value. I mean, not your camera performance, sorry, your FCS range value. And that will be your final range number that you can lock on. And I'll, tr I'll try to put the equation up here on the screen here. But in addition to that, another number to look out for is on your arms, and it's called firing stability. So this one, again, they don't tell you what it does. But firing stability, the higher that number, the quicker your rate of fire will be for whatever guns you're using or any other weapon type aside from ready mode weapons and that includes if you're on a tank so if you have a tank and you have high camera performance on your arms and sniper cannons for say it's not actually going to make you shoot any faster however when it comes to the ready mode weapons if you go to your leg type the quad legs on here have a stat that no other leg type has which is called this recoil buffering as you see on the bottom here and so the higher that number is going to be on your quad legs, the quicker rate of fire you could have with your ready mode weapons. And you could actually shoot like a sniper cannon pretty darn quick. So you could really take advantage of that. It's kind of like uh, the benefit of using this leg type. Aside from quads also hover better than other leg types, so they'll, they'll fall at a slower rate when you're just flying around in high boost. And I think that's all I have to say. So in addition to all of this, the community has actually put together this really nice write-up that uh, is very beneficial to new players and also some experienced players to an extent. And I'll try to put a link to that in the description. It's a really nice write-up, very detailed, covers basically everything I went over and much, much more to kind of get more in-depth into the game and to have a better understanding of what's going on because this game's kind of complex. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this helps you. Uh, enjoy the game more and play it more how it was intended to be played. So anyway, have a great day.